We humans, we have a decimal system. It's base 10. 10 digits because we have 10 digits. They, believe me, they are called digits, okay? Um, sure, okay. Now, we have a base 10 system. It works great for us, but it doesn't work so great for computers. Now, the reason why is computers don't have fingers to count on, right? Computers only work on electricity, which at least in the computers that we have is either on or it's off. Okay, there's electrical current flowing through a wire or there's no electrical current flowing through a wire. So it's on or off. Now, we want to be able to represent numbers somehow just like we represent numbers. So what do computers do? Okay, so rather than counting, right? Um, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. right? Computers can only count. It's kind of like off or on. Off or on. Those are the only two options they've got. Okay? Now think about that for a second. On or off, if you just got two numbers, that's like 1 or 0. Think about how this works for counting. Okay? Now maybe you want to write this over here when you've got decimal. We're so familiar with decimal that we don't think very often about how it actually works. So if you write down a few numbers with me, right? Like say, um, one, two, three, four, five, okay? Now we associate these with numbers, but actually they're really, they're just shapes, they're just shapes, okay? By the way, um, they all come back to counting. They all come back to like counting with fingers, which is why if you have a look at lots of um, number systems around the world, like say Japanese, sorry, I put the extras there, Right? You can literally see the one, two, three. They're literally, you can see the fingers, right? And Arabic numerals, which are the ones that we use, they're not that different. It's just that when you have a look at the numbers, we just got lazy, Whoa. so we started putting connecting lines between them. Okay? So, just like, it all comes back down to, yeah, that's right, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just, I'm trying to do a quick more line. Now, think yeah, about this. Like think about how you would count this system here, we call it binary because it's only got two options by like bicycle right? think about how you would count now to count to one is easy enough you went zero then you went one but when you go to the next number right well what happens in decimal what happens in decimal when you get to six seven eight nine you're like i've run out of shapes to use friend of shapes so what do i do I go back to the start, right? I have to start reusing symbols, right? So actually the first symbol is zero. So I reuse my first two symbols, right? And I'm like, look, that's actually not a one. That counts as a 10, okay? And we use place value to say, okay, that's a new number. So over here, it's like, okay, by the time I've counted to one, I've already exhausted all of my symbols, right? I don't have any more shapes to use. So I have to reset, I've got to go back to the beginning. So I read that in binary as two. That's how I count two. It's just that I don't have a symbol that's designated to be two. Okay, okay now this is all right. How do I keep counting in decimal? Well, I start to reuse symbols, don't I, right? So when I get the next number, it's going to be one, one. And now I've used up all my symbols, haven't I? So what will the next one be? I've got to go to another place value. Every time I run out of symbols, I have to go to a new place value. So the next one will be that. I've got to go to there, and then I've been, there's, uh, have I missed one? No, that's okay. One, 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 that's seven, that's seven. And now I'm going to get to eight. What am I going to do? I've run out of shapes, right? So I need another place value, so I'm going to go. Okay, so there's eight. Okay, now. Think about this, right? Think about this. Look at the numbers that you've got here. In particular, I want you to look at these ones. I'm just going to highlight some for you. Yeah, I skipped. Okay. Have a look at these numbers with me. I pulled them out because they're extra important. When you think in terms of this decimal system, right? Every time you add a new digit, you get twice, not twice, you get 10 times bigger, right? So you add a new digit, I would read these as 1, 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, you get the idea, okay? 
So every time you add a new digit in decimal, you get 10 times bigger. Right? But every time you add a new digit in binary, you don't get 10 times bigger. Look at the numbers that I've outlined here. Instead of getting 10 times bigger, you get you get you get twice as big, right? Do you see? I've added a new digit and now I'm two. I've added a new digit and now I'm four. I've added a new digit and now I'm eight. Without counting all the rest in between, you can probably predict what this number should be if that's binary. It should be 16, right? And if I wrote this, uh, how many have I got? There we go. That would be 32. I keep doubling and doubling and doubling. You sort of should expect this because decimal gets 10 times bigger because it's base 10. But binary is what we call base yeah. 2. Right? So the numbers get bigger by doubling. Now here's the problem, right? We then need to get humans who count like this and computers that count like this to kind of talk to each other, right? Now we already have this pre-established system that's all about thousands. But this guy can only work in doubles and that kind of thing, right? Now, because I'm a nerd, I happen to know, if you keep on doubling, right, the next powers you get are 64, 128, 256, 512, and then, or surprise, surprise, 1,024. Now, being a nerd, you look at powers of two really often, anyway. Now, 1,024 is really close to one of our, like, our 10 numbers, okay? Now, I can, you can actually prove it. If you keep on going, right, if I kept... Uh, now, look at the numbers you're getting, right? Just, just look at these numbers. Not many zeros, are there, right? You're not getting close to, like, uh, a 1,000 or a million or something nice and neat. The closest one you get is pretty much that, okay? So, a long time ago... Computer engineers were like, well, we have to pick one of these, one of these like doubling numbers that's kind of close to ours. So they picked this one. It's not a thousand, but it's the closest one we can get. And so now you've inherited a system that has almost a thousand, but not quite. At least it's better than having to remember one of these numbers that would be completely random. Okay. So why is it 1,024? It's because computers can only really talk in binary, so everything has to be in terms of doubles. By the way, it's the reason why there are 8 bits as well, not 10, which is what you would think of as like a normal group, but 8 is the closest they could get to 10. Okay? So this is why computers are built like this, and you have to go through this somewhat awkward sort of conversion for yourself. Um, this is why as well, when you have a, if you buy like a, um, when you buy a phone, for example, and we say, oh yeah, it's 128 gigabytes. That's the capacity, right? Because of, and I'll dig into this a bit more later, because of differences in the way that people actually count the file size units, they actually are obliged to tell you, they have to do this translation in really, really tiny writing on that, um, like, you know, terms and conditions may apply. They have to tell you how much is actually stored on your device or on your memory card or whatever it is in a unit that's unambiguous. So if you look for the terms and conditions, you'll find that. So, I hope that gives a bit of an explanation as to why it's 1,024, not 1,000. This also explains why, if you go back to the formula data sheet, do you remember I pointed out to you in the middle there, it converts everything to bytes, and then it's got, instead of like scientific notation, 10 to the power of this, 10 to the power of that, it's all 2 to the power of this or that. Yeah. It's because all of these numbers are powers of 2. Here we go. So this one's 2 to the power of 0, 2 to the power of 1, 2 squared, 2 cubed. This one here is 2 to the power of 10. Huh. It's convenient. Okay. So all of the numbers that you get are multiples of this guy.